What is good, cool, people? And welcome to the channel. It's your boy. Problem. Sorry for being late today. It's been a while since I uploaded it, at least for like my schedule. I was out there shooting my ops. I'm going to be posting a vlog on my second channel. Actually, I'm posting this on the second channel, so the same one. But anyway, in today's video, as we all know, we're talking about Uzi and Cardi, the new snippet and song that is apparently leaking, but it's having a bit of trouble. Group buys are getting taken down by Cardi's label because people are snitching on the group buy, but we'll get into that very soon. But how it all started, for the people who don't know, because I know a lot of people are in tune on Twitter, Instagram, Discord, all that. A few days ago, if you recall, a new music video without audio leaked on the 2900 Instagram account. This was shortly after the whole D pig debacle. I thought y'all were over leaks after that point. Once Cardi's invasion of privacy like went a little bit over the edge, y'all were like, I'm out of the Cardi fan base. But then once the leakers started giving y'all a little music, y'all were back. You're like fucking toxic ex girlfriends, bro. I, I can't get it. But as I was saying, we had the visual, again, no audio of a music video, and we thought it was from Stop Breathing because the background was like some stone Dracula mansion type thing, and Cardi's hair looked like he was half and half mix of Satan and Mrs. Claus, but the leakers still claim that it was not Stop Breathing. It was a completely unheard scrap song that Uzi and Cardi, actually, they didn't give us that information yet, but that Cardi recorded in 2020. Well, later on yesterday, we get a new snippet, actually two new New snippets of an Uzi Cardi 1629 collab not necessarily from their collab tape that was in the works back in like 2017 but it was still the 1629 duo Uzi and Cardi whereas the first snippet that I'm about to show you was kind of like LQ sounded like it was recorded from Shrek's asshole and then the second one was a little bit better quality in which you can actually hear the voice inflections of Uzi and Cardi without Sky having to remaster that bitch Now, Red Pines and or 2900 confirmed that this was a 2020 scrap song, basically like whole lot of Red version 2 era when Atme was dropped, as you can kind of tell with the baby voice, fetus voice from Cardi on the first snippet. So it was definitely scrap because we all know what happened with Atme. He dropped that shit and then nobody was messing with it, or at least a lot of people in the Cardi fan base weren't. So then he had to switch up the flow to the more like King Vamp flow not to mention the fact that uzi sounds like he's on that baby pluto like hardcore rapping style that he was doing in 2020 with eternal take that he may not necessarily be on anymore because now he's baby sasuke but with all that already being leaked that is two snippets from the same song and then a music video without audio that we didn't necessarily know was correlated whatsoever finally we get a music video snippet with the audio in which it is the same song uzi and cardi however uzi wasn't actually recorded in the video unfortunately or maybe he was but he was during this scene like getting brain from jt up in dracula's room <laughs> And from this music video snippet, you can definitely tell that he was still on that fetus Cardi. But I guess what happened after at May, because he also birthed Gilbert or Iggy did, that is all the baby voice just transferred into his son rather than Cardi. And then he turned into a full fledged vampire, which is a good or a bad thing, depending on if you liked it or not. But look out for Gilbert's rap career very soon. But as I mentioned a little bit earlier, this song was leaking. However, with all quality leaks, I guess it always got to be bought off the leakers. But this one was for $10,000. It's still going actually. However, what keeps happening is that the group buys keep getting taken down, or at least the Discord servers in which they're hosting the group buys keep getting banned. I think it's accumulated like $7,000 worth thus far. However, what we are coming to find is that Ronnie Lee, Cardi's old hairstylist, and yes, I say old because if you recall, like last week, she was dissing Cardi on her Instagram story saying, like, keep playing with me, blah, blah, blah. When in all reality, we found out that Cardi just used a different loctician. He was probably in a different city or something like that. No hard feelings. Just needed his braids twisted up a little bit. And then Ronnie got her panties in a twist. But what one of the group by moderators claimed in the Discord server where they were selling the song was Ronnie Lee, Cardi's hairstylist, is following Swive on IG. She has been the one ratting out the group by. So she's been the snitch all along. We thought 6 9 was bad, but 
Ronnie Lee's out there preaching the hood life, but ruining the fans fun of getting a long lost Uzi Cardi collab that we've been waiting for for so long. And by the way, I don't know how I feel about the morality of, you know, an Uzi Cardi song being leaked and bought because y'all know how I felt about, you know, Googly selling all these juice leaks for like $26,000. It's crazy. But personally, probably after Ronnie lost her business with Cardi, who literally flies her out on private jets to Atlanta to the whole lot of red release parties so that he can get his locks twisted. He's probably trying to win that golden child back. I mean, again, she's locked in for Young Thug, Lil Keith, all of these people. And when she starts dissing Cardi online, it's not a good look for being a celebrity hairstylist. You know, people don't want somebody in their team that they think will switch up on them so fast. And so with the proof that Ronnie Lee follows one of the group by moderators or people that's holding it, fans are speculating that Cardi's label is involved in taking down all the Discord servers because technically they are doing something illegal. But that only strengthens my theory from earlier this morning by which Uzi's Instagram story yesterday shortly after the new Uzi Cardi snippet leaked, he posted a story with like a flat face. Nobody really knew what he was talking about, but there were speculations that he was upset about one of his songs leaking because we know how Uzi and Cardi feel about their leaks, especially after what happened with Cardi's schlong pick. So not only is Uzi normally in tune with a lot of his leaks because he has participated in it in the sense that he's like commented on fan pages saying that a song is leaked or just leaked, but now we know that Cardi's label or some higher ups or executives are taking down these group buys in the discord servers so it wouldn't be so out there to think that uzi was talking about it on this instagram story uzi could be the snitch too and that's about it for today i expect the song to finally finish sometime very soon in like a secret discord server or on the uzi or cardi subreddit i don't know i'm not snitching out here but no way in hell am i throwing any money towards that unless i get a happy ending like asian massage or something as well or at least an nft but with that it's your boy bob lance signing know let me know in the comments if you fuck with this song uzi and cardi from what you've heard thus far it's a shame that cardi literally scraps like every single song it's ridiculous i don't understand how dude wastes so much money filming editing music videos you know producing music and all that engineering it and just doesn't drop it or lets it leak what is he doing he could make so much money if he just let the fans have all the music and all the money would go in his pocket rather than the leakers make sure to like and subscribe to join the bio gang if you would eat peace out cutter people no, sir.